Who you saints of God? You know how we do it. This is Arthur Morris Ministries. I'm your big brother, Pastor Arthur. Pastor A. Hallelujah. Yeah, I like to look at the timepiece and just spend time with God. Hallelujah. Very early mornings. Hallelujah. Or you can call them late nights. I, I love it. I just love my time with the Lord. And we are back with another segment of the state of the church right now. Hallelujah. This is for the believers. Hallelujah. It's oh man, it's so incredible to come to y'all. Hallelujah. I'm so humbled and honored to love on y'all right now, to love God right now, to just get it in. Hallelujah. I say again, <laughs> to get it in for the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, it's just a lot of going on in our churches. Hallelujah. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, if the shoe fit, wear it. Hallelujah. Cause what God spoke to me about also while I was conducting these sessions with the Holy Spirit, um, God was just downloading. It's he wants to encourage us also because, you, you know, it's a lot of stuff that's that's messed up, but it's a lot of stuff that's good, too. Hallelujah. And God said he loves the people. He loves us. <laughs> and when we are doing what our daddy called us to do, it, it makes him very, very happy. So I, this segment, we can we can say it, it's, it's, you know, we're going to speak about hallelujah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's thundering and lightning. That's my favorite. Hallelujah. Right now. It's raining right now. Hallelujah. In the beautiful state of Oklahoma. We can call this, you know, the love of God. Hallelujah for the church, the love of God, and how you know when you're pleasing to God. That's a beautiful, oh my God, that's beautiful right there. <laughs> Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby, like the old school song. When you know God is pleased with your work, but what you're doing for God is not going to burn up. When you can feel it in your spirit by by your heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit, that God is very very pleased with, with what's going on, and we're gonna speak about that a little bit, just a little bit. Hallelujah! You can just tell. Hallelujah! It's about transformation, saints. I say again, it's about transformation. It's not about, and I'm not I'm not saying this because. I don't like the mega churches and stuff. I'm not saying that. Hallelujah. God knows I love some uh I love Pastor Joel Osteen and his wife Victoria. I love uh Bishop T D Jakes and his wife uh Miss First Lady uh Sarita. Hallelujah. I love all them. I'm not saying nothing bad about them. I believe they, you know, mighty men of God. I use them because a whole lot of people know them. They're, you know, they're famous in, in the gospel world. I love them with, with, with everything. Hallelujah. But the whole bottom line is this. When you know uh, God is pleased with what you're doing at church and you're a leader and you're a pastor, you're a minister, you see the transformation. You see the transformation in God's people. You have the beautiful opportunity to serve God's people. And when you speak in God's word into their life, Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, whenever y'all hold Bible study and prayer, but just week after week, you spending time with God's people and you see that transformation. It's nothing like that. I say again, it's nothing like that. I could speak from two perspectives. I could speak that perspective of being a soldier in the United States military and the United States Army. Hallelujah. That I'm proud to serve God in my country. Hallelujah. But it's nothing like when, when God bless you with an awesome soul. Hallelujah. I say again, an awesome soul. All God's people are awesome. Their spiritual well-being is is basically God uses you to be a steward to help them along the way. 
to give them what they need from God so they can have a, a, a close relationship with him. But it's nothing like when you see that actual person transform in the things of God. That's where it's at, saints. That's when you know God's pleased with you right there. That's when you know. When you can get that reward, the Bible says God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. When you get that reward, saints of God, minister, man of God, apostle, prophet, teacher, hallelujah, of God. When you get that, when God used you to pour into that person's life, pour into their life, praying with them, you seen them, you knew how they were, hallelujah, past tense, you seen how they were, it's working with them, God was using, it was some tough times, y'all cried together, y'all prayed together, but then you see that person's life transform, right in front of your very eyes, it's nothing like that. That's when you know, and you're seeing this trans transformation. Now it's contagious. You're not only seeing one. You're not see. Excuse me. You're not just seeing one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're not just seeing one, but you're starting to see two. You're starting to see three. You're starting to see four. It's no greater reward than that as a leader. Hallelujah. That's why I bring it back to the mega churches. Love the mega churches. Love them. Love them. I'm talking about transformation. I'm talking about letting the Holy Ghost use you to minister to people where they need to be met. And I'm not saying nothing bad about the mega churches when I say this because you got a lot of mega churches. Out there. I use them for a, a, a Pacific example. Pacific example. When I'm speaking about this through the Holy Ghost. Is this. You got a lot of big mega churches. Right. We can agree to that. We can testify to that. A lot of big old churches. But it's a lack of transformation. It's a lack of transformation. Because. Like we all know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it's that huge, something can be missed. The lack of intimacy may could be missed. I'm not saying nothing bad and nothing wrong with the mega church. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying, as a leader, there's a lot going on. For me, and I'm just I'm I'm speaking, I'm speaking hallelujah. Now, like Paul said. This is this is past the author right now. As a leader, hallelujah, led by the Holy Spirit, I'm speaking to you, hallelujah. Even a mega church, hallelujah. You still want to get that intimacy with God's people because it's vital. And we all know it's kind of harder to do that. It's kind of harder. We're just going to keep it real. Because of so many people. It's just like the analogy and the example. The example of the schoolhouse. Some people, they learn good with a lot of people in the class. And some people don't. It's the same way. And we could go back to the smaller churches. Some people get it at a mega church. <laughs> and don't get it at the smaller church But the secret is this It's still That element of intimacy Even if you got a thousand people You need to be intimate Or if you got 100 people Or if you got 5 people It should feel the same Regardless Oh, What I'm speaking about is this If you have the precious opportunity from God to have his assembly of believers, his people, right? And you got a lot of people in your congregation, God's people in your congregation, God's souls in your congregation. 
You should know all of their name. You should know all of their name. It's supposed to be an intimate relationship anyway. There's no excuse for that. That's what we lack in the body. A lot of us are more concerned about what the flock could do for me than what I could do for the flock. Hallelujah. You should not be, you should not be as a leader. You should be the example of giving. There's no way that the flock should be giving more than you. And what I mean by this is this. Your time, hallelujah, on your face and you praying for them, hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you going to God for them to really take the time out to pray for them. Because I understand stuff get hectic. I understand, I understand all that stuff. Hallelujah. I got to do another part to this because <laughs> I'm running out of a beautiful time right now in space. But uh, we love you so very much. We're going we gonna to get right back into it. We love you so very much at Arthur Mars Ministries. God bless you. Oh, my God. It's just beautiful right now. We're going to get right back into it. We love you. We thank God for you right now. And we salute you and we honor you. God bless you.